Hi YouTube, this is Samir from SamirK1980.com and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a major problem with uh, the live views. Uh, many of you might have uh, encountered this problem uh, basically when you bought your live view and discovered that if you want to use it as a watch, you basically have issues with the charging. So when you're using the live view as a, a mount, as a watch, the provided mount, for the watch it uh, doesn't give you access to the charging port here so I'm gonna try my best to resolve it today and if you guys uh, feel uh, this is the right procedure please do add your comments below okay so basically what we're gonna do is completely ignore the provided mount that is uh, provided by Sony Ericsson because that's none of our use right now um, this process is however conveniently interchangeable I mean it can be reversed or it can be undone or it can there is no harm at all uh, if you <clears throat> are um, doing this uh, process uh, it can be redone again so uh, basically the solution to the charging is very very simple all you got to do is take your um, provided uh, wrist uh, strap here and uh, I mean however you want to wear it uh, I wear it like like this so this thing ends up uh, here on my wrist so um, you can either do it here or here I mean wherever you want uh, there are two places uh, all you gotta do is um, these are the two um, uh, places where you know you put the pins and uh, mount uh, the um, live view there so uh, right below this you just gotta make a small cut here like that I'm gonna tell you why you gotta do that but uh, let me start off with uh, the cut so the cut is um, done with uh, either a scissor or a knife make sure you don't damage your strip don't make it too lengthy don't make it too, too deep inside so uh, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna insert your live view from from there so you're gonna use this part of the attachment with the live view that you use for clipping on to your jeans or your belt strap or your purse or your clothing or whatever so we're gonna use this attachment here and uh, this attachment would uh, basically slide in here it would be um, it would be there holding your live view uh, as a watch and um, you're gonna see you're gonna find out as I do it you're gonna find out you're gonna get access to the charging port number one and number two the live view is gonna come really down it's not gonna be really up you know the the length is not gonna be like you're wearing something really artificial or maybe a Chinese brand of a watch something like that so let me show you how it's done so we're going to take our live view and insert it there. Like that. So um, here we see that we got access to the charging port where is it oh here sorry you got access to the charging port and uh, the depth has decreased to that and uh, doesn't look really bad and if you think you can work around another way all you gotta do is just take it off take out the attachment and use the mount provide it there doesn't look that bad after all and uh, it's very strong there it's not dropping at all how much ever I shake it 
there's no effect on the live view so guys uh, that was a small video of uh, how to um, uh, solve the charging issues when you're uh, using your live view as a watch and uh, if you like the solution uh, do use it it's completely reversible and it can be undone you can I mean use your mount again with the screws and if you like this video do comment on it and do share your experiences with us uh, thanks a lot for watching have a nice day bye